Has anybody told you that you need more color in your life? Well, if they have, then this might be for you. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're going to be unboxing right here something called the M7 from Linwo. Linwo. It comes to us from Banggood. And it's an OLED color screen smartwatch with all the usual stuff in it. It's uh, available through the link down below and check it for a good discount on this one. Here you go. Blood oxygen, blood pressure, heart rate monitor, all that's built into this one. A lot of different colors available. It uses Bluetooth 4.0. You're going to use the iWear tethering app to connect with the uh, phone. And these are the different things that it supports. Yeah, let's jump into it. It's definitely all sealed up. You like my new slitter? I don't have that rusted one anymore. Mr. Tick's got a new Christmas present. Yeah! <laughs> I think folks were recognizing that I needed an upgrade. Okay, let's take the box apart. There, I got it started. Now, ooh, ooh, it's pretty. It's square, well, rectangular. Nice presentation, look at that. Good Valentine's gift. A lot of red. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not too far away, is it? Ah, uh-huh. I think these bands are probably removable given how they uh, fold so flat. Nice. Look at this. Yeah. It's got a little cover giving you an idea of what it's going to look like and a wraparound uh, screen here. Wow, look at that. Nice, smooth, full wraparound screen. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, what else is in the box? We bring out the layers of packing material. We find the two connector charger, USB charger. But something different about this one, I can see right off the bat, besides it being crammed in here, is... Uh, the distance between the chargers and the positioning with the magnets. That's very unique. Oh, that's because it's spanning three of them. Wow. All right. Odd. Definitely odd. But don't lose this or break it because I've never seen one like that. It's not all that strong. It's okay. It should, it should hold. But uh, that's the charging unit and it is specialized for this particular device. We have the manual. Looks like it's a color manual for a color band. That's good. It's in English. And it starts out like this. Little bitty words, but if you blow this up on your big screen TV, I'm sure it's going to be readable. How many of you watch all of this stuff on your smartphone and just skip past this because it's way too tiny? There's the, uh, the app for tethering. More information. Going into some detail on the app itself, it looks like. And then different screens for the actual device itself, all in color. Going to be interesting to see how bright that is. And then um, some of the charts that you'll see on your tethering app. And how to put all that together. Uh -huh. Honestly, this is so tiny, I can't read it right now. I either need a magnifying glass or I'm going to have to put this video on my computer or TV to read it. <laughs> and something here. Okay. A lot of detail. So hopefully the tethering is going to be pretty cool. And then this side is the same thing in Chinese. And that's our manual. All right. We are, we're going to... Um, Charge it up, the uh, Linwo M7, and then um, see what it'll do for us. Yep, definitely removable bands. I'll take them off now and then put them on for the rest of the review. So you could make this thing a cute little pocket uh, device too. Huh. And as you know, you can get your heart rate from just about anywhere. That fleshy part of your hand is usually pretty good. Tip of your finger. Got nice, uh, nice weight, counterbalance weight to it. Pretty cool. All right, let's do the rest of the review. Well, here it is, and it's really easy to operate. You have one button. You can press and hold, and that'll change things. Or you just press it lightly, and it'll take you to the next item. Like from time, 
to your total number of steps, to a training section, or your heart rate, blood pressure, sleep time from last night, uh, alarm, find your phone when it's tethered, and info about the unit, and of course power to turn it off. So we're back to time. So let's take a little bit deeper look at each of these. You saw the two watch faces that are available, analog and digital. Come in here and you've got your steps, press and hold, and it doesn't do anything. It's just reporting for you. Come over here to training. Now, press and hold, and you go into an area where you can set up a cycling session, or running, or swimming, or return. Press and hold will take you back to training. Your heart rate, when you leave it here, does nothing but turn off, but when you touch it again and press and hold, you'll go into um, the reading mode for your heart rate, which we'll show you in a minute. Same thing for blood pressure. For your sleep time, press and hold doesn't do anything. You're just looking at last night's six hour and 6.8 hours of sleep. We'll see that on the app. Your alarm, you can press and hold. Wow. And it seems to just take you back again. Okay. I presume alarm then must have to do with turning it off when it's beeping from your phone, which if you hit find, it's going to send a signal out. And if you're tethered, it should find your phone. I have the tethering set up, but I don't think it's on right now. Info tells you a little bit about the device, what its version is, and power off if I press and hold would turn the unit off. That's the band. Now let's take a look at the app. The tethering app that goes with it is called iBand and it's available in the Google Play Store. When you open it, you have to create an account. You have to log in with that account. You have to do all those things in advance and you have to tether and notice it says it's syncing. The first time you tether, it's pretty easy. And once it's tethered, it seems to really work well. It logs in and updates quite readily. And it's doing its uh, calculation and giving me my information here, saying I have 400 steps, and that matches with what's on the band right now. You notice the camera keeps changing based on lighting. And that's true here. I can't really give you a good representation of how bright this is. It looks really, really bright right now, but it's an overcast day outside. In reality, it's relatively dim. This is not that bright of a screen. And because it's all color, makes it a little challenging to see in uh, sunlight. However, um, you do have a brightness control on it, but right now it's on its brightest level. We'll show you all that in a minute. Here we are in the app. We have different pages. This is your step count. I come over here and here's last night's sleep. It shows you from 2227 to uh, 726 in the morning that there was a sleep duration that included deep sleep, moderate sleep, and awake time, it looks like. Uh, awake and duration, 2.1 hours in the middle of the night. I don't recall that, but I could have been sleepwalking. Never know, huh? Then you have your heart rate information. Here's the uh, real-time chart from 5.30 this morning to 10 a.m., 10.36 and average minimum and maximum and it's relatively reasonable that it's going to be low like that maybe not quite that low you hit measure and it'll automatically do that we'll do that in a minute come over here you have your blood pressure reading from 6 a.m to 10 a.m taking it apparently in increments and you can tap on any of these and see the reading change here but it's not Oh yeah, it is. It's telling you the time that that happened. 7.09 a.m., 7.39, 8.09, 8.39. So it's every half hour, it's doing a blood pressure reading for you. This is one of the first we've seen uh, that allows you to have real-time uh, continuous blood pressure reading. So that's interesting. That's nice. And then you have blood oxygen again down here. It's just a chart, and it's relatively constant because I'm not doing anything to, to change it. And that's all of these tabs. So let's go over to measure, which is on the heart rate. We have to have the unit on, really, for that because we're going to be doing blood pressure as well. And you don't want to mess around with getting a 
thing off of your finger because I want to show you how cool this is, how it works. So I'm going to hit the measure button here. And you see it immediately turns the band on to the heart rate uh, level. And it is accumulating heart rate data, which is fairly quick. There you go. 74 beats per minute. And blood oxygen is at 97. Now watch the blood pressure. It's taking blood pressure readings every few seconds. See them change here. You're not seeing it on the band, but you're seeing it change on the app. And it's taking and updating these readings real time till it gets kind of here to the end. And then it gives you, watch where the thing flashes over to. Okay, it's at the last one. There, I just vibrated here. All right, it's staying on the last one. A couple of times it jumps back to like an average somewhere else in the middle. But you can check, here's the time on each of these. And it looks like I'm averaging, what, about 115, 116, somewhere in there, uh, over 79, 73, 112, 115, 114. Look at all that. Cool, huh? And there's the blood oxygen we just took as well. So real-time transmission of data. This is not hot pink. It's red. I'm looking at the camera, and it looks like it's hot pink. If I get, yeah, lighting, color, tone, everything. It's so hard to get it all set just right. But you get all this good data in here, and you get all that just by hitting measure from within the app. And your step count's gonna be basic step count. Here you can see how many steps uh, at the different times during the day, which I haven't accumulated much, but you've got all that. And you have all of the information available directly on the watch. If I go over here, to blood pressure, press and hold. There, it vibrated. Now it's doing blood pressure. Is it doing it here too? Doesn't look like it. It might be doing it just on the band. Okay, I'm getting 118 over 77. Oh, there it goes. It's kicking in. It waited until it actually uh, got some data to send. One time data entry. Oh. 111 over 74, there we go. Seems to be doing it at a slower rate than it was when we initiated it directly from the app, but it's still doing it. Eh, now it's picking up. Maybe it has to actually have reliable data if I'm messing around with it and doing stuff so it doesn't get a good signal. Well, it just vibrated. Mm-hmm, okay. You know me, I'm always curious. How accurate is it, really? I'm gonna press the button. Well, you know, let's, let's do it from here. I'm gonna hit measure, and I'm just gonna leave it out in the air. It's a single diode. Oh, it went off. Ha-ha! Oh, it says it's not getting a good reading. And it wouldn't take it. Interesting, okay. Yeah, it says measure, and it shuts off and vibrates. Nice. So we know at least it's not just pulling random data from the air and giving you a reading. It does need to have body contact in order for it to work. What else about this app? Let's check it out. Looks like I got some buttons I can push here in the upper left and two of them here. We're on the step count page. Let's start here. I'm going to press that first button and that goes to the train page by date. So remember all the different training options we had on the band? What were they? Cycling, running, and swimming. You can go in here, select your specific date to see your date results, and I presume they're going to all be listed down here as you do training. You can press this little wishbone and send the data out. That's all in training, which is accessible underneath the step count. When you click on the right one, you're getting a history over the last month. Here's the days of the month, and it just started. This is the 2nd of February with 28 days. Interesting. And your total, total miles, total calories, and your average is going to be in here. And you can change months right there. That's those two. You see that same kind of thing when you come over here. Here's your sleep information for the month, your average 
uh, daily sleep. So over time, throughout the month, you can see how your average sleep either increases or decreases and adjusts accordingly. And of course, you can change months just like we did on the other one. Uh, all of those are the same. Back out of history, you get something similar here now in heart rate, where I can come in and look at your last measurement result. And then in this current month, your overall average minimum and maximum for the month and your average reading that you actually took on any of these particular readings. And it doesn't look like they're touchable. So it's maintaining that piece of data for you. And from that, giving you a minimum and maximum with average. But when you do the individual reading, you get the minimum and maximum and average of that individual reading as well. And then, of course, you can change month there, too, in the history of there. Blood pressure readings, same kind of thing. You're getting your totals for each measurement and the time it was taken, including these ones that are grouped together and taken in a burst. And your overall monthly average information. Nice if you could stratify that a little bit further, but it's a, it's, at least it's a start. And then your blood oxygen information is reported the same way. So those are all of these tab sections, and all of them have this little thing up in the corner. When we tap here, we get into your user information, where you can give yourself a nickname, your gender, age, height, and weight, adjust all of that stuff, and hit save. And then you have the band that you, this is where you actually connect to the device and it would show it right here, your standard Bluetooth connection. Then you have all these other features. You've got the remote camera capability um, that when you put it in this mode, you can start taking a photo. The band just lit up, you see that? And I can actually take a picture of the band when I touch the button. Hello, touch the button. Oh, I have to touch the button. There's only a button there, right? Uh-oh, I guess that took it out. Let's try that again. Touch the button down below it. There, froze, took a picture, and it saved it. Okay, you got the picture. Um, we have find my watch, search for it. It's vibrating and flashing, and it does it seven times, it looks like, and then stops. You can set reminders for all of these different things, including app reminders along with call notifications and messages, your anti-loss stuff. We run integration, smart screen, lift your wrists to show the time. So I had it turned off for uh, at night so it wouldn't mess up in bed. But when you turn it on now and save it, <clears throat> hello, you're supposed to be turning on now. Well, trust me, it works. There, it's not on and saved, saved, okay. Did it work? There you go, all right, it did it. Um, here you go, brightness now. It's a dim day right now, so it's looking really bright, which is nice. Um, this is normal, and this is low. And I guess at night, really low could be great for like at a movie theater, but you really need to run it on high and it's still going to be dim outdoors. Just a word of warning. It's not the brightest uh, watch I've seen. Unit settings. You have metric uh, or, or uh, imperial. I like to run on imperial. Save. And time format. You can have 12 or 24 hour time. It's morning now, so you really can't tell. But it does work and it changes. Then you've got your overall goal setting for your daily steps and sleep. And finally, an about, which is where you check for updates. And I had actually to update both the app and the firmware when I first got it. Even the downloaded app from the Google Play Store is ready for an update. And then um, this was 1.2.1 on the band itself. So check that first after you tether them, update both of them. Not much, probably just bug fixes as far as I could tell. And then about us uh, and help. Uh, and language settings are available. Your default language pulled from the phone 
or you can set the band up to be in all of these, including German. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. I called it Dutch in, in one of the previous videos. I was so embarrassed. I got corrected real quick on that one. Help. If you have any questions, there's where you can email to Lixie. All right. Hello, Lixie. And it's not giving me anything in the About Us. But that's the app, and it's a pretty cool app, especially, I'm finding, in how it handles blood pressure. You don't see this on any of the other ones. So uh, very cool. Very, very cool. And with removable bands, it looks like this could be a very nice little watch. One button, cycles through everything. Press and hold to get it to change anything, like analog or digital watch face. And you got yourself a fun little fitness band. And once again from Banggood, you can pick up the Linwo M7 for under 25 bucks. Check the show notes for a buying link and a discount coupon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.